Hello friends, today, I'm going to explain the new spring 2023 anime recap called Mashal Magic and Muscles, Part 2 Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care Easton Magic Academy is a historic and prestigious school that has produced numerous pillars of the magic realm. Its entrance examination is notoriously difficult that not even 3% of the applicants will be omit, but only those with superior magical powers will be able to open the gates of Easton. This year's exam will be held under the watch of Claude who is a great magic user and a teacher of the Easton Magic Academy. Claude looks at the candidates and notices some young people from prestigious families or organizations, but then notices Mash, who is doing some physical training in the candidates' gathering area and he is surprised as Easton was a magic school not a gym training school. When Mash pretends to be sitting on an invisible chair while reading a fitness book, Claude gets annoyed and considers Mash to be slacking and guesses he won't pass the first round. Regro and Brad were also behind him dressed as a student and covered with green branches. When Regro asked about Mash's chances in joining the Magic Academy, he tells him to not forget about his powers as he has already drawn a magic mark on Mash's cheek which no one can remove it. Claude then appears on the stage and introduces himself, welcoming them to the Easton Magic Academy. As he surprised all the youth who are all on his achievements, one of them reveals that he is this year's seventh best up and coming mage and despite his youth, he had already mastered countless advanced spells. But unlike the rest, Mash mocks him for the way he appeared, much to Claude's annoyance. Claude then tells the students to take a seat and uses his magic to make some desks appear in the arena and hands exam sheets with magic pencils, only for Mash to comment that he should have taken them to a room where everything was already set up. The exam starts and the students notice the questions on the exam paper are squirming all over the place, making them unable to even read them. Kalud reveals that only those who can dispel the magic and properly line up the questions would be able to pass this exam. Mash asks the letter to stop squirming, but as they continue, he crushes his pen and asks again they stop moving, after which the questions properly align themselves. Mash then hands the paper to Claude and to his surprise, the questions were perfectly aligned. Mash then continued to pass the exam including Boulder Float, Running on the Water, and many others. Much to Claude's anger, he wonders why a trash like Mash is able to pass these tests, but decides to throw him an even bigger and harder exam. He then uses his magic and create a maze full of traps, saying that the maze will be filled with a lot of traps and they have 30 minutes to complete it, and reach out to the other side. Inside the maze, a girl named Lemon Irvine asks Mash if she can tag along with him as it would be more efficient to work together, and Mash accepts it. During their journey, Lemon gets slowed down and asks for help for a variety of situations. Eventually, Mash decides to leave her as this wasn't efficient, and he has not much time left, but Lemon uses the Levio's cuffest spell to handcuff Mash's arms and legs. She apologizes for deceiving him and says she had a personal reason to keep him away from completing the test. When asked the reason behind it, she reveals that she couldn't tell him about the reason as it was a personal matter. Realizing that he's been deceived, Mash breaks free from the cuffs, saying that he has his own reasons to complete this exam and runs away alone. A sphinx then appears next to Lemon and gives her a riddle. Lemon terrified to see his size and magic abilities, is not able to answer in time, and the Sphinx decided to finish her with his spear. Before calling for help, Lemon realizes that he deserved this as she selfishly betrayed others. Suddenly, Mash returns and knocks out the Sphinx, stating the riddle like that does not exist. When asked why he saved her, Mash explains that he thought her personal reason may be like his and he felt bad about it. As the time is almost up, Claude feels happy about Mash won't be able to complete this exam, but to his shock, Mash proceeds by taking shortcuts, breaking the walls of the maze, and reaches the end destination in time with Lemon. Having passed through the walls, the other students felt that was cheating and Mash had to find his way through the maze to truly pass. They start yelling at him to go home, and Mash agrees to their points 
but given his situation, he can't just go home. Lennon decides to speak, telling everyone that Mash isn't at fault. Claude wants her to shut up or she will regret it, but Lemon continues and explains that Claude told her to prevent Mash from reaching the point, and he would allow her to pass the exam. She also told them that Mash savor her from the, the Sphinx, and even proposed to her, but Mash denies it to the second one, and she keeps insisting he did. Hearing this, Claude confesses that he set up Mash, but since it's his exam, he feels he can fail students who he doesn't like. He explains that Mash and Lemon are commoners and the school is for the elite. Claude then activates his magic spell with his wand and decides to fail both Mash and Lemon unless they decide to challenge his decision. Mash then snaps Claude's wand to everyone's surprise. Suddenly, Headmaster Walberg shows up and silences everyone. He announces they are moving to the final interviews and from now on he is in charge of the exam. Wahlberg tells Claude that he wishes to speak with him later, which is not something Claude wanted to hear. Wahlberg proceeds with the interview starting with Mash, he teleports him into a big hall. He asks him why he chose their school and Mash just says that he wants to live in peace with his family. The other teachers weren't happy with the answer and wanted more explanation, but Wahlberg finds it sufficient and proceeds. He heard that Mash went back to save a girl in the maze even though he was about to fail his exam and wonders why. Mash tells him that otherwise he would have regretted it. Wahlberg starts laughing as he finds Mash to be one that acts before he thinks, but tells him that there are many creatures stronger than him, and wonders if he would take the same actions if he found himself hopelessly outmatched. Wahlberg then showcases his magical power which makes the other teachers shiver and suffocates, and wonders what Mash would do if he was facing him. Wahlberg then explains his powerful magic that allows him to transfer the soul of the person that he cherishes the most into the doll, at the same time Regro loses consciousness as his soul moves to the doll. Wahlberg continues to explain that if he drives the knife into the doll, the soul would never return. Mash then tries to break the knife, but as he fails he tries to stop it from going down, believing that Wahlberg can't continue this magic for very long and all he needs is to outlast him. Wahlberg explains that power can be used to harm or protect and the school's principle is to foster the talents of mages to protect the weak and regulate the strong and that he sees that Mash embodies those qualities. He apologizes, explaining he had no intention to cause any harm, but Mash tells him there is no need to apologize. He goes on to explain that if he had to face him, he would knock him out with his fist. Hearing that, Wahlberg welcomes Mash to the school. Mash attends his first magic class to learn magic. The professor is demonstrating the lock opening spell, Opshers. The professor explains that the user must imagine they are opening the lock as they infuse it with magic. The students repeat this with their locks. But as Mash cannot use magic, he breaks it open with his hands. He tells this to the teacher, and she gets enraged as he explains that he is not good with magic. A student to the side, Finn is cautious of Mash. He also catches the eye of another student. As they go to their dormitories, Finn finds himself in his appointed room, wondering who his roommate would be, hoping that it would not be Mash. Suddenly, Mash rips the door open and greets Finn. They introduce themselves and Finn seems to think that he misunderstood Mash, who then names all his muscles and Finn takes back what he thought. Mash asks Finn about the Divine Visionary. Finn explains that a student needed gold coins which they got based on their evaluation in tests, coursework, extracurricular activities, and school life. He also tells him that after three terms anyone with five or more gold coins could get into the running as a candidate for a divine visionary, but if they can't keep up their grades each semester, they will be expelled regardless of how many coins they had, much to Mash's shock. After that, they wish each other good luck and Mash vows to work with him together, stating that he is a good a guy. He also offers him his cream puff and they begin eat together.